Remember what it is for a set X to be equipped with a monoid structure, neutral element E and operator op. It means that op absorbs E on both sides. I've drawn this, my expressions, as tree structures because I have a handy board. And it's also the case that you can reorganise the tree of ops uh, to make groupings on the left turn into groupings on the right. So it doesn't matter how they're grouped. What's important is the sequence of the data that are all being opt together. Now, suppose I have another monoid. I'll call it Y with B prime and op prime. The question is, when is a function F from X to Y a monoid map? Well, it has to satisfy two conditions. It has to take the neutral element from the source monoid to the neutral element in the target monoid. And it has to be the case that if you combine two things in the source monoid and then F the answer, you could have f the question transferred both values from x to y and then combined them with op prime. These things have to work out the same. What does that give you? Well, it gives you that f preserves whole calculations, whole pictures. Let's have an example. Let's start in natural numbers with zero and plus. And let's target natural numbers with one and times. So here's a calculation. Let's see, I have my numbers 1, 2, 3. And remember, only the sequence matters. I'll add them up like this. I'll start with 0, combine with 1 to get 1, combine that with 2 to get 3, combine that with 3 to get 6. Now, consider the function 2 to the power. If I translate my numbers, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 4, and 2 to the 3 is 8. If I uh, transform the picture, I've got to use the neutral element for multiplication, which is 1. I combine these two by multiplying, I get 2. I combine 2 and 4 to get 8, and I combine 8 and 8 to get uh, 64. And you'll see that the picture has the same structure and that everywhere in corresponding positions, this is 2 to the power. I've got 2 to the power here, 2 to the power here, 2 to the power here, 2 to the power here. And that is because a monoid map preserves the whole calculation exactly because it preserves neutral to neutral and it preserves the operation of the source monoid to the operation on the target monoid. So the whole picture gets translated by a monoid map.